Good evening, everyone. I'm Andre Mora. And I'm Donna Britt. A mother is counting her blessings tonight after her two young children escaped a home invasion in Port Allen. West Baton Rouge deputies say the kids were home alone when the intruders forced their way in. What happened next might surprise you. Our David Spun joins us now live from Port Allen with our Street Beat tonight. David? Well, Andre, the two men are behind me right now in the West Baton Rouge Parish Prison. While those two kids, a brother and a sister, only 8 and 10 years old, are home safe and sound with their mother tonight where this happened. It happened two nights ago, and ironically, it was just about this time on Tuesday night when police say two intruders came into the apartment, pulled guns on both of the kids, and that's when the 10-year-old brother pulled a gun back on the intruders. I just dropped everything and tried to make it home to my babies. I was just scared. A mother in shock better. after news her home was broken into and her two children were in danger. Late Tuesday, West Baton Rouge deputies received a call to this apartment complex after several shots rang out from inside her home. Well, you out here trying to work and for someone to come do that, invade your home. It's just very hard. Deputies say Dean Favron and Roderick Porter knocked several times on the apartment door. Two young children, a 10-year-old boy and 8-year-old girl, stood on the other side, terrified. He told his little sister to be quiet. And seconds later, they started kicking on the door. And finally, they kicked the door in. The two children ran to their mother's bedroom closet. In a panic, the 10-year-old grabbed his mother's gun for protection. He did what I told him to do. He went, got in the closet, but I never told him to get the gun, but thank God he did. Once the two suspects opened the door threatening the kids, deputies say the boy fired a bullet into the lip of Roderick Porter. Both men were taken to the hospital where they were later arrested. It's just hard. I don't understand why would they do that. I know they have little brothers and little sisters. They wouldn't want no one to come into their home. Now, the two men behind me are being held on a $150,000 bond. There was a third suspect involved in the case. He was a juvenile. He actually, according to police, ran the getaway car, 15 years old, taken to a juvenile detention center. Now, Dean Favron, one of the suspects, actually just got out of jail a couple weeks ago. He was in for seven years for aggravated assault on a Baton Rouge police officer and two carjacking charges back in 2002. Andre. And they're in the prison behind you. David, thank you very much. Baton Rouge now has the second.